Many times I've been asked to speak about the great individuals who came together in the early days of this team and achieved glory for themselves in this city. I've often commented that I had the pleasure of coaching and managing them as players, but I also had the great experience of coaching them when they came here as young men and then became fine people. There's no greater family feeling than to set out on a journey with a spirited, committed, extremely talented, and passionate group than the men who sat in the Oilers dressing room in those days, including Dave Semenko. There was a presence about Dave that said, I've got you, all of you. And he could do that simply by looking at you or anybody else for that matter. It's true we were a family and the path we charted together remains a vivid collection of brilliant memories that will last all of us all of our days. I cannot really describe the feeling I had upon hearing the news of Dave passing. Players will not tell you he was a brother, a big brother, the guy who distilled the spirit that we stood for in all situations, always keenly measuring the moment and striking with humor. With great insight, he remained that way always, as a player, as a scout, an executive, and a friend to all of us. I wasn't going to do this, but I'll tell you a brief story about him. I took uh, Dave to Banff to go skiing, and he'd, he'd never skied. Big, strong, talented guy, so we went to Mount Norquay, and I skied the three bunny hills with him to start with. And then we went up for the fourth time, and there was a steeper hill. It was longer, and it was icy. I said, I don't think we're going to ski this hill. I don't think you're ready for it. By the time I said that, he was gone. I couldn't catch him. And then he fell, and uh, he was going down head first, and he couldn't get his skis over to slow himself down. So he finally did it, took him into the trees. He hit the tree head first and knocked out the two bottom teeth. So by the time I got there, I thought, God, maybe the guy's dead. But when I got there, one tooth was laying in the snow. The other one was kind of hanging out. There was blood all over his face. And we called the, we called the ski patrol. The ski patrol came. It was a real nice-looking girl. He turned to her with his humor and said, How do you like me now? <laughs> you know, typical Dave. For me, I was seen as a father figure and a mentor. Then I lost a son. Today, it's not about statistics, goals, assists, and so on. It's about the measure of a man, and Dave Semenko measured up. He leaves us with a simple thought that might be Dave Semenko. He was an oiler. He was talented. He was generous. He was kind. He was humble. And it took him a long way. Thank you.